So I first like to thank everyone here today, especially for this opportunity. I especially want to thank you for planning all this. And I know everyone's schedule is busy, so thank you for showing up and supporting all of us students. So on to the essay reading. <laughs> America has been built and shaped by the men and women that have dedicated their lives to making America a great nation to live. Almost everyone in, in the U.S. today are descendants from the great American le leaders from the past. These great leaders are not just the founding fathers of the U.S., but they are also the heads of the households, the men and women who have dedicated their life to service to America, and those pushed, who pushed for reforms in American schooling and equal rights for women. Our nation is kept moving forward by the many good citizens integrating their ideas, upholding the rights and duties of the American people, and being, both, and being potent leaders in the communities that they live. The United States of America was not made by one man. It was made by a group of men who decided to get together and declare their independence from Great Britain in 1776. These same men talked talk through and collaborated ideas to ratify the U.S. Constitution in 1788. The American democracy today is still built upon people collaborating together. America is able to complete tasks because they are effectively combined. They effectively combine their ideas to make the best decisions for the nation. Good citizens do the same by combining their actions and their ideas of service to keep the nation moving forward and prosperous through this time. New ideas from, from the citizens grant for new and old situations to get a fresh look and to be completed more effectively. The actions of good citizens are more effective when, when they are working together for a common good. Actions of many good citizens are beneficial in a nation moving forward because many of these citizens uphold the rights and the duties of the American citizens. These citizens respect the government and take actions that will protect the American people and keep the American democracy running smoothly. Our nation is never cheated by many good citizens because these citizens serve their country by following the laws, paying their taxes, and taking on many other duties that no one asked them to do. The American people come first in the eyes of the good citizens and are represented in the actions of these citizens, citizens to keep this nation moving forward. Good citizens are not, only act, are not only taking actions for this nation to move forward, but they are also potent leaders in America. These citizens humble themselves and put others' needs before their own, own to, to permit essential growth in America. Their actions reflect their leadership by not only leading the people around them, but also serving those people at the same time. Leadership is an important aspect for this nation to move forward, and it is good work for the citizens to work together. Future leaders will mimic the actions and characteristics of good citizens, and this will enable America to keep moving forward in the future. Our nation is not kept, is, our nation is kept moving forward by many good citizens, integrating many ideas, upholding the duties of the American people and being potent leaders in their communities. Good citizens work together to be, to be more effective. Duties of the American people fulfill, fulfilled by these citizens. Leaderships of these citizens will not only promote current American growth, but future growth as well. The combined actions of the good citizens create an effective, effective way for our nation to keep moving forward in America. And thank you. Um, for plans, I do plan on going to college. Uh, my top school, two schools that I'm looking at are UNC Chapel Hill and UNC Wilmington, and I plan on doing, uh, following communications media, and later on, I'm hoping to be a productions pastor at the church.